With more technological advances comes a new generation of American military weapons, built to affirm the United States as the world's most feared military powerhouse. And that's where BAE Systems' armed robotic combat vehicle comes in. Also known as Black Knight, the unmanned vehicle is the perfect sidekick to ground forces, capable of reconnoitering even the most dangerous battle zones without endangering the lives of the soldiers. The United States Army has tried and failed to introduce an unmanned ground vehicle, such as the Black Knight, for almost 20 years, and the expectations are through the roof. Still, it has yet to prove itself, but its time may come sooner than expected. The Future of American Warfare With the advent of unmanned aircraft, the common soldier is now given an unprecedented eagle's eye view of the battle zone. As such, the commanders use a linked network of unmanned drones to communicate with individual units, locate the enemy, and even launch attacks without risking their men's lives. Nevertheless, the United States Army needs to have a strong ground presence, even as it has absolute control of the airspace. The Future Combat System was a significant attempt to modernize the program. Formally launched in 2003, it was the most ambitious and far-reaching modernization program launched by the U.S. Army, going as far back as World War II. Envisioned by the organization's top officials to create new brigades equipped with both manned and unmanned ground vehicles, the program subsequently funded many projects. One of them was the BAE System's Black Knight unmanned vehicle. Black Knight. Designed in 2005 and 2006 by the English-British Multinational Arms, Security and Aerospace Company that built the Bradley Fighting Vehicle, the Black Knight unmanned ground combat vehicle prototype weighs 12 tons and can be airlifted and deployable from a C-130 cargo aircraft. Similar to a tank and with a potent 300 horsepower Caterpillar Inc. diesel engine, the unmanned vehicle is armed with a turret-mounted 25mm gun and a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun. In January of 2006, Carnegie Mellon University's famed National Robotics Engineering Center received a contract from BAE Systems to design and add all sensors, hardware, and computer elements to achieve full autonomous navigational capability. This computer system allows the tank to perform several autonomous and semi-autonomous functions, such as moving its turret, overall navigation, avoiding obstacles, and planning a route. The Black Knight is also capable of being used off-road and can traverse any type of terrain, including elevation, rocks, or water. It also uses drone technology, similar to that of the General Atomics MQ-9 Reaper unmanned aerial vehicle, allowing it to be controlled from a more significant distance and limiting the loss of lives while packing massive power against its foes. Introduction The Black Knight made its public debut in 2006 at the Association of the United States Army in Washington, D.C. The showcase was a resounding success, and the BAE Systems team further improved the vehicle's remote operational capability following the convention. This new feature was showcased a year later during the 2007 Air Assault Expeditionary Force, an annual event held in Fort Benning, Georgia. The tank passed the safety conditions during its field trials, and testing began in the fall. The Black Knight vehicle successfully performed most of its tasks after more than 200 hours of operation. However, the program would soon find its first obstacle. Between 1995 and 2009, $32 billion were spent on the Future Combat Systems program, and the general consensus was that there was little to show for it. As such, Pentagon and Army officials formally announced that the FCS Vehicle Development Program would be cancelled in May of 2009, and the rest of the effort would be swept into a new program, the Army Brigade Combat Team Modernization Program. The armed robotic demonstrator unmanned vehicle remained in obscurity for years, but instead of being shelved, BAE Systems continued developing the design, waiting for the right time to reintroduce it.
resurrection. In 2018, as BAE Systems tried to meet the increasing demand for the Army's robotics and autonomous systems strategy, the company resurrected the Black Knight. The tank, rebranded as the Armed Robotic Combat Vehicle, or ARC-V, was further developed in conjunction with Carnegie Mellon University and presented for the first time at the 2018 AUSA Global Force Symposium, the largest land power exposition and professional development forum in North America, almost 10 years after its original program was canceled. BAE Systems drove the vehicle right into the showroom instead of towing it to make it a bigger splash, surprising all the attendees and getting more attention. In an interview with the press, BAE Systems Business Development Director Jim Miller said that the program aimed to have a soldier controlling the ARC-V from the back of a Bradley vehicle, potentially running the robotic vehicle on its side as a wingman. Another potential use would have a soldier using it in a dismounted form, sending it ahead of the troops to perform reconnaissance or fire at a target without the need for an actual human to go forth and investigate. The reintroduction of the improved vehicle at the AUSA convention was meant to start a conversation about the willingness of the Army to integrate robotic systems such as the one BAE proposed. However, BAE Systems was also willing to further investigate what aspect of the vehicle's autonomous technology can be integrated into current and future systems. According to Miller, the program was moving in the right direction, and the timing was right for the Army to look at the vehicle's capability one more time. Timeline. After years of failed acquisitions, the Army has radically accelerated its overall modernization plans. Robots and autonomous systems like the armed robotic combat vehicle have been identified as crucial capability areas for investment in the upcoming years, and BAE Systems creation is a strong contender for the Army's new initiative. Brigadier General David L'Esperance, head of the Army's cross-functional team for ground combat vehicles, provided a detailed timeline for the future of the United States Army's robotic combat vehicle at the 2018 AUSA Global Force Symposium. According to several sources, the Army has already awarded six contracts for design concepts, from which former Chief of Staff Mark Milley has personally reviewed and picked the ones to pursue. For Phase 1, the winners have to deliver two prototypes of next-generation combat vehicles and four robotic combat vehicles. After the Army Test and Evaluation Command certifies the vehicles as safe to drive, they will be given to actual combat troops and not professional testers for nine months of trials, including field maneuvers and live fire events. For Phase 2, five of the competing teams will produce three design concepts, one based on one-on-one -on -one workshops with soldiers, another on the latest research, development, and engineering command technology, and a final contractor's choice model. The winners will deliver two manned and four unmanned vehicles to work together as a platoon in trials lasting a year. Phase 3, expected to take place from 2023 to 24, will require even more vehicles, this time operating as a company, with more rigorous and realistic exercises at a combat training center. While L'Esperant stated that this timeline is tentative, he also suggested it might be accelerated if the Army spots a clear winner in Phase 2 as soon as 2022. With the Army's standard secrecy regarding future projects, the fate of the armed robotic combat vehicle is uncertain, and it remains to be seen if it ever sees the light of day. Thank you for watching Dark Tech. Don't hesitate to give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed our video. And to keep up with the latest in defense development and more exciting historical and military stories, subscribe to all our Dark Documentaries channels. Stay tuned.